Hello, it's Laria31 and I'm here for Ladies Week. And I first want to say thank you to Invincible for giving me the opportunity to grace his wonderful channel. Now, let me tell you guys right off, I'm sick. I know I probably sound nasally or whatever. Bear with me. I got my little tissue here, so if I just grab it and bear with me. Okay? So, I'm here for Ladies Week. And the topic is what you see. The ultimate woman. I want to tell you guys a little story, right? I do understand that there is a book out that speaks about how our life is not a dress rehearsal and how this is it. This is the finale. Our lives are like a live stage play ongoing 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right? We don't we can't press pause, you know, is you can't, you know, rewind. We can't go back, you know, like butterfly effect, right? We can't go back and change anything. Um, this is it. And it is, um, you know, up to us to set up our scenes the way that we see fit, right? Because we're the directors, we're the producers, we're the lead in our own stage play, right? Which is our life. So, there is this one particular scene that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I needed a guy co-star. Now, in our stage plays, right, we all have different budgets. So, I just want to let you guys know that this is a low budget play over here, okay? <laughs> what you want from me. So, I have to do my own scouting. You know, I'm, I'm the casting director too, you know? Now you know. Okay, so I saw him, you know, I saw him, you know, he he looked like he'd be wonderful for the job. His body was built in the way that I, I felt that he would be able to handle the strenuous, you know, lifting and different things that go along with this job, with this scene where he would have to play the role of a handyman. So... You know, he felt that he, you know, could do the job. I, and I made sure, I let him know it would be two, three times a week, at least two times a week. And, you know, there'd be some some work to be done. I mean, you would have to say some lines, of course, while you're painting and laying tiles and unclogging pipes and things of this nature. But, you know, you got to bring your own tools. You know, because I don't have the necessary tools needed to do this type of job. He said, I got you. I got you. I can do that. I got the tools that you need. I got you. Bet. He came through. Honey, showed out. Showed out. Had the paint drying off fast. <laughs> Had the tiles lined all up. All neat and everything. Honey, clog pipes, thing of the past. <laughs> so, I'm like, wow. Okay, so, yeah, you know, at least two time, two more times. I mean, one more time this week, you know, it would be good. It would be great. So, you know what? Honeys, I don't know if he found someone else with a bigger budget. <laughs> But honey, he came one more time, and then after that, he reneged on me like two, three times. I'm like, dude, what happened? I know I don't have a big budget. I know I don't have, you know, the wine that you need. Well, I do have some Hennessy. Why you had to do me like that? You could have at least called me, let me know you couldn't come through. So, you know... I, you know, I may have a weighing list over here. You know what I'm saying? I just let the next eligible person you know, step up to the job because, you know, the audience, they're getting bored with me. They're getting bored with me trying to do this scene on my own. It's boring them to death, okay? <laughs> they're sick of looking at me. So, <laughs> Well, do reneged on me, right? I thought he had what it takes. I thought he was interested. And he ran off to some other scene in somebody else's play. 
I said all this to say the position is still open. <laughs> Listen, I'm taking I'm currently taking applications right now. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Sorry, people. Sorry, y'all. I'm just joking. Listen. I said all that to say seriously, though. This stage play that we have to manage is our life. And we have to be careful with who we allow into our space. Who we allow to share the stage with us. To co-star and to come in and do, you know, you know, little features or whatever. We have to be careful who we allow in that space. And it takes time to find out who you can really trust. That's going to be dependable. Someone that you can lean on. That are gonna, that's going to come through when you need them to. Guard your place. Protect them. And... That's all I wanted to say. I want to thank again Invincible for allowing me to be a part of this week. I really, really appreciate it. And, um, hey.